What's up guys? Got Dave here. And uh wanted to talk about gearing. Like changing the gearing on your bike. Because uh I changed the gearing on my Aprilia when I owned that bike. And I changed the gearing on this Duke when I first bought it. And I also changed the gearing on the RC8 when I first bought it. And all three of those gear changes were for different reasons. Completely different reasons. And the KTMs were more similarly related. We'll start with them. Because uh, the Duke, when I first got it, it seemed like it was geared too low. You know, like get on the freeway and it was like, it just felt like it was winding out. I mean, sure, it's a single cylinder, but it felt like it was just winding out to be, uh, to be going like 70 or so. You know, it was just like not happy up on the freeway. And so, with for this bike, I went one tooth bigger in the front. And that kind of helped that problem. Geared it a little bit higher. And it geared it quite a bit higher, actually. But definitely helped that problem. And then the RC8 was the opposite. The RC8 was geared so high when I bought that bike, the way it comes from the factory, it's like you could do like 150 in first gear. And maybe that's cool, like if you're on the track, and that's the way people like it when they're riding on the track. But on the street, and in the tight canyons, it's like, it was geared so high it would force me to be in first gear, going through some of the tight sections. And it's, to me, it's not a comfortable feeling. It's too low. It's not smooth, it's not as smooth as second. I'd rather be in second gear. And so by gearing it lower, it allowed me to use second gear in some of the tighter sections where the higher gearing was forcing me to go into first. And then with the Aprilia, when I got that bike, the speedometer was so far off, I could not, it was like probably seven or eight miles an hour off. It was reading like, you know, like if you were going 50, it would say that you were doing like 57 or 58. And I mean, it was cool that it was that, that way, because at least it's, telling you that you're going faster than you are so that you're not going to get a ticket, you know? Like, it's better to have your speedometer off that way than it is the other way. Think you're going 50 and you're actually going 57, you know, then you're going to get in trouble. So I'd rather have it off saying that I'm higher, but still, I'd rather have it bang on, you know? It's like I just bought the bike, I wanted it right. And so, the Aprilia, instead of, uh, instead of doing it through wheel speed, like uh, the KTMs, like the Duke does its speedometer through the ABS sensor, and uh, the RC8 actually has a front wheel speed sensor. With you know, it's got like a little wire going down to the front wheel for the speedometer, so that it knows. Because it doesn't have any ABS or anything like that on that bike. So that's how it does it. But the Aprilia, how it did its speed, is it had the sensor um, on the transmission of the motorcycle. And so the only way to adjust it, uh, other than, you know, that I knew about, is to re-gear the bike. You know, and like, it's like, if it says it's going 57 and it's only going 50, then make it go 57. <laughs> and you do that by going lower in the back. I went four teeth smaller on the back sprocket, and that fixed that problem that all of a sudden then, instead of being going 50, I was going 57, when it said 57, or 58, whatever, I mean, it was off a ways. It was off a whole lot, it wasn't just like a few. You know, it was enough to really bug me and make me want to make a change. Because it was, and I had no idea how it got that far off. If somebody met a four tooth bigger sprocket in the back and geared it lower and it like messed everything up, who knows? But that's my story on changing gears on my bike, or bikes. I... Oh, thank you. I did them all for different reasons. And, you know, for practical reasons. 
I actually had a guy one time tell me that every time he's ever bought a sport bike, he, he was, you know, like a Jixer or whatever, or R1, whatever, he's like, man, he's like, right when I buy one, he's all just gear it like one tooth lower in the front. You know, just make it one tooth lower, just like you did. He's like, that's just like my practice. He's all, because they all come geared way too high. And I'm all, huh, that's funny. My, I think I'd at least ride it a little bit and see. Because if I hadn't had a problem with that, with the gearing, I wouldn't have changed it. You know, like why would I be changing stuff for no reason? So that's it for gearing. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.